Tens of thousands gathered near Balochistan University in Quetta to welcome the participants and leaders of the Turbat Long March returning from Islamabad, Pakistan's capital. The air was soon to turn electrifying. The gathering on January 25 was mostly attended by young students, elderly people and children. Waiting for a great orator. Cameras and drone cameras were everywhere to cover the Jalsa or what was referred to as a public referendum. Then the lioness of Balochistan Maharang Baloch took the stage and addressed the thousands of people waiting to hear her. Today, the love and respect we have among our people in our land are a thousand times more powerful than the oppression of Islamabad, she roared to the gathering. She raised a slogan and thousands of those gathered chanted in unison. It is a rare sight for Balochis to follow a woman leader. But Maharang Baloch is different. Baloch Maharang, along with some women, children and elders, had just returned from Islamabad after protesting against enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings of Baloch people in Balochistan over the years. The protests were being carried out on the ages of the Baloch Yagjahti Committee, BYC. Mehrang is the face of BYC. The protesters had walked some 1600 kilometers from Tarbat, Balochistan's second largest city, to reach the national capital on December 21. They met a heavy crackdown by the Islamabad police in the cold up north. At least 13 criminal cases were filed against protesters across Pakistan, according to Amnesty International. At least 200 people were arrested on their arrival. In Pakistan, things have hotted up too, as the Islamic Republic is getting ready for National Assembly, Parliamentary, elections in just under two weeks. At the heart of the protests is Balochistan's age-old story of discrimination and exploitation by the Islamabad Rawalpindi regime. Balochistan, systematically sidelined by Islamabad, has seen constant deprivation. For decades, the Baloch people have witnessed forced disappearances and kidnappings by security personnel. That is the reason why Maharang Baloch started the march beyond silence. What else remains but resistance and a movement against the genocidal and brutal policies of the state? This is a people's resistance and only the people themselves can resist to end such barbaric policies, Maharang Baloch wrote on X. Pakistan's largest province, Balochistan, is rich in natural resources, but the province, bordering Iran, has seen little or no real development on the ground, further worsening socio-economic indicators. The socio-economically backward Pakistani province lags in various socio-economic indicators, with around 41% of its households living under the poverty line. Hence, a few sections of discontented Baloch people in Pakistan have picked up arms and others left to the regime's apathy and high-handedness, being further sidelined and deprived. The Baloch movement, which had carried on for decades, in various ways, now has a young, thoughtful and courageous leader Maharang Baloch. It's unusual for Balochis to rally behind a woman leader, but Maharang is special. A trained surgeon and fiery orator, Maharang Baloch has become a symbol of resistance against the injustices meted out to the Baloch people by the Pakistani state and establishment. The recent protests and the march from Tarbat to Islamabad were triggered by the extrajudicial killing of a 24-year-old Baloch man, Balach Mola Baksh, by the Counter-Terrorism Department, CTD. Activists and locals say that the state, operating through death squads, engages in abductions and extrajudicial killings. The province of Balochistan has seen at least 2,752 enforced disappearances since 2011, says Amnesty International. People from Balochistan on X have blamed local leaders of the Pakistan People's Party, PPT, for abetting the death squads of Balochistan in carrying out discreet kidnappings and killings. The PP is one of the main political parties in Pakistan. Maharang is herself a victim of forceful abduction. Her father was picked up by security agencies in Karachi in 2009 and his body was discovered a couple of years later, according to the South Asian Avent Garde. The body bore tell-tale signs of torture. Maharang Baloch's brother, too, was abducted in 2017. It was the moment I decided to protest for everyone. And I removed my veil and showed my face to everyone, Maharang Baloch told The Guardian in 2021. Since then, Maharang has been raising her voice against unlawful enforced disappearances, extrajudicial killings and forced displacements of the Baloch people. Maharang Baloch hasn't raised her voice of resistance just for her own people. 
She is seen as a staunch supporter of freedom of expression and has expressed solidarity with oppressed groups, including the Hazara, Sindhi, Muhajir, Pashtun, Shia, Hindu and Christians of Pakistan.